Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing Part uh, or Attempt Number 2. My name is Saiken. I'm trying to do the world's first legendary uh, uh, Iron Man Exquisite Timing Super Hard Achievement. Uh, not done on legendaries so far. Time for a retaliation mission. Um, we got 13 enemies. Enemy unknown means on retaliations mission. That's either Berserkers at this time or we're going to fight against the Chosen. Either way, it's gonna be hard. I prepared the team already and we're going to go in with the freshly uh, graduated um, uh, Richter, uh, aka Sonar. He's uh, he's just come, he just came from the GTS school. We got Bones, we got Highward, we got uh, Zirkim. Pyro just barely made it out of uh, her status to of being injured. And we got uh, Sergeant Golobev, aka, AKA Solar. Sona and Sola. That is a pretty close name by thinking about it. Um, anyways, we're going to have a difficult mission. 16 enemies, Haven Assault. So it's all on the line. We don't want to lose the southern US portion because that would mean we're losing the research bonus and we can't afford that. Let's jump into the mission. All right. We oh, just that. landed. We Let's take a look. First of all, great location. I absolutely love um, these desertish locations. I just think the tile set is incredibly well done. Got the first uh, set of uh, resistance operatives right there. And let's take a look. We just got to save six. So, uh, Bones is. Moving up. Okay, we seem to be okay so far. Moving up further. Ah, uh, that's unknown. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Gosh, we don't want to um, run right into the berserkers. Do we have high ground for Zirkum? Yeah, we got some high ground here. Not too bad, but uh, we gotta get there first. What's over there? Solar's moving in. Our frontline, um, who is coincidentally called Sonar, uh, is moving in as well. On my way. Pyro. On your order. Takes cover over here. Hewer takes cover Take over here. Location. And Zirkim theoretically could take a shot, but you know what? I really like to first have a solid cover before we're going on to a long watch. Good. Four overwatches, just in case someone is coming a bit closer. Berserk is definitely moving closer, but hasn't engaged yet, which is fine. Got a Viper there. All right. Oh, wow. Two misses. Damn it. All right, so the fight is on. It is on, Maruz. Let's see, we're first of all going to get a bit closer. Now we can remote start. Viper is in half cover. You won't be able to flank it. Okay, I'll go. Oh, I thought we already killed it, so never mind. And there's another sectoid. Good, I think we gotta pull her out of the cover. So the Viper needs to go first. Grenade out. 
The Berserk will be a bit of a tougher cookie to deal with. There we go. Viper is pretty much injured. Sola takes a shot. And a nice crit. Pretty well done. Good job, Solar. Moving into full cover with Hayward. And Zirkim as well. Zirkim has a 50 50 on this uh, guy, and that's the only one who he could hit. I think we're going to take that those odds. Okay, we gotta be careful here. I wish that that would essentially kill someone, but it does not. Let's start hitting the Berserk. Okay. But now officially enraged. And we're moving into cover. Oh, I thought that that was cover. It was not. Mm, that's bad. We don't want to stand in the open. Definitely a no-no. So it's going to be a double move. Not a big problem. Can't kill the Berserk anyways. I would like us to take a seat back here so that we're not being spotted out eventually. And there we go. Civilians are paying the price. Good, let's take a look. They're shooting back. Nice, good shot. All right, pretty good. Pretty damn good. I like it. All right, he has full cover. We could, technically speaking, try to charge in. But I think we don't want to do that. Not yet. Zirkim continues to go for the Sector, because it's the only target that he can hit. Sector is down to two hit points. Can't use a grenade, because that would most likely kill civilians as well. They are going to ignore me for now. Which in return, we're going to take the opportunity and actually pepper them as much as we can. Okay, we can still hit him, that's great. Which means, let's give our frontliner, Pyro here, the 8 protocol. And we're continuing to hit the Berserk. Mm, unfortunately, 90% shots that are missing. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Moving in this time into really solid cover. Could try to hit the Berserk. Yeah, I think we're... Trying to deal as much damage as we can. Problem with the ballistic weapons at this point is it's just not a lot of. Uh, ooh, nice! We got a free action. That's cool. I like it. We're definitely going to make use of it. Moving out. 
getting a bit closer. And let's finish the Berserk. Very nice. Bit of a soul harvest here. 28%, 21%. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Could still reload. Sonar takes an 8 protocol uh, so that the stun lancer is not going to rush and try to take him down. 30% is not good enough. We're just going to overwatch here. And Sonar, let's also just overwatch. I think we're fine. There we go. That's the first hit. Those shots had a better chance to hit than shooting into full cover. This guy unfortunately kills um, one of uh, the resistance operators. Good, let's see. Resistance forces. Ah, that was a mistake. You'd never shoot the zombie. Specifically if you could kill the sector. Oh, nice. A gigantic church. I totally love the church. It's such a nice... I've never not even seen it. That church is such a great... Um, uh, uh, such a great uh, place to have a shootout. Fantastic. Just... I like it. It's one of my absolute favorite uh, locations. Okay, we can we could charge up. Heading out. Moving closer. Let's go for the stun lancer. Stun lancer takes a nice little beating here. Bones moves in. And time to collect some more souls. Very nice. I need more ammo. That's two kills right there. Maximilian Richter moves in. And he just the sector who's boss. I like it. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Good. We only lost one, which means we already saved three. Now, one important thing is once uh, you have killed all of uh, the enemies in the first spot, you're usually forced to really rush it a bit because the next group of enemies just uh, starts to move in. Zirkim takes will take the high ground. We're going to reload as we need uh, uh, as we need to. And we're eventually uh, supporting our troops. Oh, more berserks. That's not good. The only good part is they could theoretically enrage. He just did that. And sometimes when they enrage, uh, they can trigger blind rage. Which means they're attacking the next uh, target. They're usually not alone, so they might as well run to one of the advents and just hit them really, really hard. Okay, perfect. Okay, time for us to move. My personal threshold for reloading is I'm always trying to reload um, if you only have one shot left. Problem is if we're going in with either of those, we would trigger, so we're making use of the most overpowered uh, class when it comes to moving silently.
Great. There's a remote start option back here, by the way. This one is remote startable, this one is remote startable. Got a lot of options here, that's just fantastic. Gorgeous. Okay. Hayward. Takes the point position. Zirkim is going up. We only got one shot left in the shotgun. So I'm reloading. Same for Pyro. Trying to not lose too much uh, time um, by taking sort of okay cover. And you know what? Since I don't want to go too far, might as well reload this here as well. Like I said, uh, two is kind of on, uh, on the edge. The reason why I'm uh, personally taking two um, as the quote unquote magic number before reloading um, in between fights is uh, you usually end up having the option to take an overwatch shot and then another shot as well. Um, so two, uh, two shots is just from my experience, pretty good rule of thumb. Uh, that you need until uh, when you start a new firefight so you you can take an overwatch shot and a normal shot and then uh, next round it's reloading and taking a shot because at the beginning of every encounter you usually need to move once after the overwatch to get a really good solid cover position and from there next round you can spend the time to reload and just continue shooting of course that's just a rule of thumb it uh, very much depends on the circumstances so don't take it as a literal rule could take the high ground here maybe to get a good uh, position could move all the way up to here spot, p uh, spot enemies in there Hmm, is this too aggressive already? I think we're taking the high ground. Moving as ordered. I've spotted an alien patrol. Any of the remote starts definitely would make sense. Oh wow, that patrol here is pretty pretty beefy. We know there's another patrol right here, so this here is going would be triggering him. We can even see him kind of in the half, in the uh, fog of shadow. So we're taking it a bit slower, and where it is, shouldn't trigger someone. Zirkim reloads. This is probably even a better spot, but who cares? Um, it's good enough for now. We know there is no one over here, so might as well frontline uh, slash flanking character sonar moves up. Pyro is supporting him on the side. And Solar. You know, we can't all flank on this side, so we got to put a couple more soldiers onto this side. So we're taking this here, which is also not going to trigger. Overwatch, Overwatch, and reload for bones. I was hoping I could remote start a bit more. That was not the case. There's the Overwatch shot. Oh wow, there's yet another pack back here. Look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty to tough one. Ooh. This is gonna be a slot. Oh wow. Now we're having a big problem. Berserks left and right and left and right.
You got a focus fire, guys. If you are not focus firing, this uh, shit here is going uh, gonna get worse very, very fast. Ooh, that, on the other hand, was great. Unfortunately, he did not explode. That would have been uh, hilarious. Move over. Gotta remove some cover here. Yeah, we can only hit one with a grenade, and that's not good enough. So let's indeed try to get down the stun mounter. It's definitely the more threatening target. We could kill it from up here. By the way, just out of curiosity, do we have any other remote startable object? Probably not. This here is a great position for Reaper to rain death upon all of them. Love it. Going to use that. Moving up into full cover. If it's stun lancer, more like if it bites the dust lancer. Good, that would be a normal shot. Why is Sirkim not seeing him? Hmm. Should have started with uh, Sirkim. We can still use uh, long watch. a dangerous idea. Charging in could be really dangerous. Not sure if we should do that. Mm. It's too early to do that. Uh, rather taking the full cover and get for a uh, go for a flanking position next turn. Pretty solid hit. That way we can also reload with Hayward. I'm giving her the full ammunition clip that she needed. Deflection. Four to five points of damage. Okay. Okay. Well, we're ignoring armor, so might as well take the normal shot. And uh, that means we're collecting yet another soul. There we go. Not revealed. Long watch, overwatch. I'm certain we're going to be able to shoot at least once. Oh, this is going to be such a slaughterhouse. Yep, Zirkin just waited for that moment and then he sniped him just like a pro. Lovely. Great. There's a couple of good shots. I, I like what I'm seeing. The number of hit points in here is incredibly high la la as you order commander Good. let's get in there Any remote start anywhere? Okay, fine, no problem. Yeah, that 
would hit four. That would be a great one. Okay, cool. Good. We got that. Uh, we just need someone to start it. And I think I just have the person to do that. go. That's gonna hurt. Good. It requires patience. Shrapnel for eight points of damage. And we're going to blow it up with a frag grenade. So that should deal with the mech right away. Oh no, the mech still has one hit point. Okay, okay, I see how it is. see how it is okay it's probably the turn for a mimic beacon because this year is going to become ugly really really soon Moving into full cover. Howard moves into full cover as well. Advent Mech needs to die first. There we go. Now, next up. Too much armor. Let's instead get the Berserk. Still too much armor. But we st we also got a teamwork, so... We can get that Berserk down. Yet another soul collected successfully. Reloading to be action efficient. And what are we going to do with sonar? Gotta get into a good spot. I feel this would be a perfect spot, but cannot, cannot move far enough. Uh, far enough. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving up. Ooh, a stun lancer. Okay, so this here should be good for everyone. It seems the berserks just don't care about mimic beacons. Luckily, the mechs do. Nope, they certainly do not care. We're running out of civilians. And apparently, 
Everyone else forgot to reload last turn. Stun answer here is dangerous. Let's move up just to block the entrance to the upper level, but also to deal with the mech, which is quite frankly one of the biggest concerns that I had. Sniper next. That could be a kill. Bursa could be a kill. Stun Lancer unlikely to be a kill. Let's go for the mech first. Very nice. and sure that that would be a kill. Probably would not. All right, Richter moves a bit back. Hayward can deal with the Berserk easily. Let's give our aid protocol to Sonar, who will need it very soon. Kill the Berserk. Sonar moves up into full cover. Unfortunately, can't flank. This is four to six, and that is worse than hitting him with four to six. The only uh, difference is this here has a superior hair uh, hair trigger, but I I would argue we want to kill it right away. Yep, sixty-six percent chance that that would have happened. Good job. Well, and now we do have a bit of an issue. So we still got faceless ones in here. And a massive berserk just running around like crazy, trying to kill everyone. We have another remote start bill item. We don't. I am on the move. I want to be spotted out. Good. We know that there is a berserk reload, and we'll get it eventually next turn. I knew sooner or later that that is going, uh, would be a problem. Can only lose one more troop. And the Berserk needs to die, like, really, really soon. Keep him coming. Your shots, like it. Hmm. 
Siakim does not have a free line of sight. That stinks. Okay, gotta be far enough away so that we're not the target of the faceless one. High ground is our friend. Berserk needs to die. A very nice shot. Good job. Hair trigger. Thank you for the superior hair trigger. My ammo's running low. Okay, this one would spot us out, so. We most certainly don't want that. Um, nonetheless, let's get the Berserk down first. Good. We're positioning ourselves back here. Move it on target location. So we got line of sight. Hitting it nicely, very nice. Pyro almost. Almost is too close. Let's move over here mainly so that we're not next to any of the resistance operators. And that might be a kill. Yep, 100%. I don't even need to reload. Let's just kill it. Close one, guys, close one. But it was a flawless mission, nonetheless. Very nice. So uh, let's get into a uh, rescued civilians. Quite a few. We got uh, many, many corpses, faces ones uh, on top. That's perfect. Can get a berserk autopsy and a monthly supply. That's great. And we are back to the normal drill. So let's expand our queue. We got a shadow event. This here is the suit that's currently researched seven days, which is exactly as much time as we have to get intel. We need to maximize intel. And we should speed it up as much as possible. Once we got intel, Even more. I didn't know you were in the habit of snatching bodies, Commander. Now that you've got it, what exactly do you plan on doing with that thing anyway? Yeah, let's let's go for the intel. Let's go for the intel. Avenger plotting new course. Gotta get as much as possible here. Stun Lancers now have a chance to move after performing a melee attack. That is pretty nasty. Remember, it's permanent dark events, guys, so we're looking at uh, that as a standard ability now. Good. Three more days until. Perfect. The resistance. So, we do have our upgrade for resistance communications now. Let me think uh, what the topic was. We, I think we wanted to um, upgrade it one more time. That would cost too much um, energy. So, we're just putting, we're just putting William Hart here. Um, that would give us enough contacts. 
can also put him here for now. I don't think that we're going to get that excavation time down far enough, but we do have theoretically enough contacts to uh, to um, get to the final location. We need to now expand and start building the tower as well. Uh, I see what the problem is. Okay. Got four more days. The uh, tower takes four to six days, so we gotta expand now. Wanted to do that earlier. That's why we were speeding up the expansion quite a bit. We've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any right. And now it's time for the radio relay here. Might lose one or two days, but we're it, we're still fine. Good, perfect. Uh, Dark Tower Noxus is wounded. We're going to find out how bad it is. Everyone else got some uh, experience. And what did we get? Experimental ammunition projects and proving grounds are in um, are completed um, immediately. That's cool. We just don't have a proving ground. Uh, this is a bit, a bit the problem. Has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. No um, unit is available to get to the final stage, so we're probably also not going to infiltrate her. But we can recruit another Reaper. And just with uh, uh, seeing how things are. I would probably say Renvin can do that. Gets even an additional health, which is great. And how about he's accompanied by Sane? There might be an um, ambush. Well, it's fine. I think they can handle it. Yeah, I think they can handle it. A Reaper would definitely be welcome. We can't do the Assassin. Let's see what the other options uh, would be. Reduce Avatar Project, not necessary. Hunt the Chosen Templar uh, would be fine, I guess, but not needed. The re breakthrough researches were not good. So yeah, we're going for the Reaper just to have a high level um, a further high level scout. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Good. And now we're continuing to build. Uh, to scan. Which in this case is building uh, the radio relay. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Okay, we uh, improved our relationship quite a bit. Let's see what we will get as a result. So, loyalty amongst thieves, not a problem. XCOM soldier uh, will suffer greater loss to will. That is not so good because it uh, will make us more tired. Missed shots um, will trigger return fire. Mm, that is actually not so good. And the hidden event might be not so good either. Okay, cool. That's not bad. Got a couple of new ones here. So, let's see what we want to do. Do we need more supplies? Do we need the excavation speed? Do we really will we will we get more excavated is the question. Uh, instant communication is good. We need intel. That's fine. We definitely want the shredding. That's a given as well, so those two are fine. Which means we only can use yellow cards. We want the instant uh, com uh, instant uh, connection. And this here would, uh, would be 30, 40 supplies on top. 
excavation speed or 40 supplies. We probably won't be able to finish the excavation in time. Meaning, let's drop that and instead just go for the extra supplies. Supplies collected from each supply uh, drop are increased by 50. Uh, we want uh, that. This one is great. I like it. But this, unfortunately, we don't have a proving ground. If we had a proving ground, can we can we decommission anything and get a proving ground going? And then just instantly get everything done. What could we decommission? Can't decommission the shadow chamber. Well, we could decommission the resistance ring in at the very end that is an option can't decommission the gts um, we could decommission i suppose we could decommission the laboratory at the end but we don't have enough time to then build a new proving grounds on top it needs to be something if we're decommission something it needs to be something that we do not need anymore um, yeah, I guess uh, the the closest to decommissioning could be the uh, could be the um, resistance network. So, if let's just theoretically uh, talk that through, we're going to make contact to uh, the um, gateway, doing the gateway mission, and then just burning down the resistance ring. Okay, fair enough. We're building proving grounds immediately. We do have the uh, continent bonus for uh, for um, armor, and this here is ammunition on top of it. Hmm. There's, there are a couple of good pieces of ammunition. You know what? I'll keep it as an option, so we'll put it in here just so that it is an option. Uh, the ammunition uh, instant would be great. Continent bonus from Europe for instant um, for instant um, suits and armor is good as well. So we might want to do that. My people will listen, whether they like it or not. 600 supplies, great. Can't do that at the moment because we're building a radio relay. What? There we go. So we are done with the stasis suit. We're in the middle of June. We definitely need to go for um, the next mission, which means we need to make contact here. We're going to get it down to 80, con uh, to 80 in uh, three days. And there's a new, there is a new option. Vance Trooper, Advent Mech, only 11? What, something is wrong here. Large number of Advent Troopers present under Advent only leadership. Uh-huh, okay, good. I like that side trap. Advent groups are greater in size. And that is gonna hurt quite a bit, but we can, we can definitely do that. Uh, so we just need to build the radio relay here, then start making contact, and off we go. Good. Which brings us to the end of today's mission. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you on the next uh, run. As always, if you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.